Metro is sounding the alarm on a major budget shortfall. The shortfall is so drastic, one Metro official is calling it a quote, death spiral for transit. Marcella Robertson joins us live from the Van Ness UDC Metro station to explain when this may impact riders and why it's happening. Marcella, good morning. Allison, good morning. Yeah, we are talking about a $750 million budget shortfall that could lead, could lead rather to a drastic cuts like we have never seen before on Metro. The issue is that fewer people are riding Metro and it is becoming more and more expensive to operate the system. Now, Metro says that it is sounding the alarm early on this problem. The impacts would not be felt until this time next summer. Uh, but we are talking about nearly 30% of Metro's budget here that's at stake. Let's break down what some of those potential cuts would look like to offset that shortfall. Two thirds of bus service would be gone. Bus and train service would both end at 930 at night. Wait times between Metro trains could be as high as 30 minutes and Metro suspects that trains could end up being too full to even board during rush hour. Riders say this would have a huge impact on them if something isn't done to prevent this. We will get home from work if they cut all that. I use the Metro to actually transport my children everywhere. Um, so that would definitely be a big hit to us as well. Now, we have certainly seen a lot happen with Metro recently. We're talking platform repairs, uh, new station openings, ridership hitting post-pandemic records. But the bottom line is leaders say the system is a long way from its pre-pandemic numbers, and that has continued to be a problem. Another important thing to note, the millions of dollars of federal funding that has essentially kept Metro afloat, that comes to an end next year. Now, uh, Metro officials declined to comment on this, but they said that the public can expect to hear a lot more at its board meeting tomorrow. That's the latest here outside the Van Ness Metro Station. I'm Marcella Robertson, WUSA 9.